What's going on, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? Listen, I'm back with yet another video. And today we are going to be doing my morning skincare routine, including what I've raved about oh so much, sea moss, okay? Now, I cannot stress enough how much in just a week I really truly see a difference. Um, just look, like I said, Pay attention to areas where you see some dark marks and whatnot. We just use it on a natural light. Come through natural light. I need to get a new tripod. So I literally have my camera propped up. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But uh, yeah, peep what's on my chin and cheeks because we're going to get rid of it all together. I'm not playing out here in these streets. Okay, so let's quickly get into it. For those of you who have not watch me before welcome thank you so much for tuning in what you can find here are skincare hacks talks about maca root how to maintain slash gain weight and product reviews in general is just how to glow the heck up i have more recently been more on using natural products that don't break the bank don't have a whole leap of chemicals and whatnot and literally focusing more on the natural to to blow up okay so that's what we're gonna get into uh yeah i have my sea moss here i have literally taken out some and put it here okay and i will be putting this all over my face and on my neck i do this before washing my face now of course i'm giving you guys the version of me not going into the shower and all of that just so you get the the basics but let's get into it lips looking crusty i put this uh I will say though, real talk, I'm not, I'm not playing. I feel like the sea moss has low key lightened my lips and brought out more of a pink hue. I'm not playing. Now, mind you, I do put coconut and shea butter on my lips, which you will see later in the video. And that's probably contributing to everything with the lips too. But I feel like my lips were darker and they have lightened. This is literally what we do here. Uh oh, some drop. We can't buy lose none. No, what's up? The consistency, honestly, of this sea moss gel, it kind of feels like aloe vera gel, which I also use. I use aloe vera juice. I have used aloe vera gel before. Uh, <laughs> voice is shaky um also please pay attention to my you know let me go ahead and put this on my uh i saw a video which i'm gonna start doing too bump that this young lady used i forget her name but i'll uh leave it in the link young young female she used sea moss to grow her eyebrows y'all know that i used latisse and the latisse dupe but Perhaps this uh, sea moss is also aiding in my eyebrows thickening. I have not threaded them in forever. I, I don't feel a need to, I don't care. <clears throat> I just want them to be thick. And trust me, they've grown a lot. There's no makeup in my eyebrows. Look at my lashes, y'all. Also the Latisse dupe. Castor oil on the bottom. When I say that my Lashes have grown like crazy. They have grown like crazy. Okay? I don't mess with demons, Satan. Get thee behind. No. My, my area of concern right now, nose, shoot everything. Let me stop. But primarily my chin, where this pimple and these marks are, and mm -mm, I can't lose that. And um, my cheeks and the forehead area. And the forehead. That lady scrubbed under my eye. I feel like there's a little dark mark because of that. Man, I ain't got time. These people be wild. Straight up wild.
This stuff makes your skin feel so smooth and it goes on so smooth. Oh, what I was gonna say that I totally forgot to say in the last video. One thing about uh, this stuff, one thing about this stuff, tretinoin cream, a comparison, tretinoin cream, your skin has to go through a purging period. What that means is that your skin, all kind of pimples come to head, your skin looks a hot mess for like weeks to a month roughly. And you have to walk around looking like that. With the sea moss, uh -uh, the more you use it and the more consistently you use it, the more your skins glow up, glows up. There is no purging period. There is no downtime. This stuff is it, it, it's a miracle worker. So many benefits. So many benefits and natural. To make it is not hard. Blend it up. Add some water. Store it in the fridge for a while. Put it all over my lips. Sorry if that looks gross. My lips gotta be on fleek. I ain't got time. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay, I have a whole bunch on my face, so the remaining, I'm gonna just go ahead and put this on my body, <clears throat> bump it on my legs or something, anywhere I have a dark mark, because I have extra. Okay, I am going to leave this on for 10 minutes, okay? And then I am going to come back and wash my face and show you the rest of my routine. Stay tuned. Okay, I am back. It is 15 minutes later. I can't open my mouth fully because of the mask. As you can see, I've put it all over my neck, all over my face. Take a look. So because I was putting it all over my face, of course, it got all over my hands. When I tell y'all that it just leaves your hands feeling very, very smooth. My hands feel, I haven't even put on anything but rinsed off this uh, sea moss. My hands feel so smooth. So yeah, and with the extra, cause that, that little bit that I showed you on the plastic little lid, I had so much extra, I went ahead and put some on my elbows. I'm trying to lighten my elbows. I went ahead and put some on my knees and um, my arms and stuff like that. This hasn't completely dried right here because I did put a lot in this section, but it's been 15 minutes and I wanna show y'all. I haven't even washed my face yet, which I wanna show y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and uh, yeah, and proceed, let go. Okay, so I have washed off my face, but as you can see, a lot of what it was on my neck, there's still a lot. So I'm gonna take my rag, washcloth, wash towel, whatever, and I am going to remove the rest with it, and then I'm gonna get into the face washing part. Okay, guys? So let's go. Yo, I feel, it feels so good. Another thing that I wanna point out, before I started on this sea moss, sometimes my lips would be very peely, 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 okay? They'd get dry and a little chapped. When I say that it's like a natural exfoliant, pee. No peely peely, okay? No freaking peely peely. This stuff is amazing. Okay guys, so that is that. 
When you do use a, a rag, I feel like you can get up in there though and, and clean a little bit, more of a deep clean. But I'm using this for the sake of the fact that I don't have the tripod and I couldn't show y'all all the rinsing process. So, yeah, okay. And again, this is just the way I personally do things. Somebody could be like, well, this is an extra listen. This is this is what you gotta do. This is what this is what I have to do to have my skin on fleet. Alright, so I'm gonna show you now the face wash and get into that. Hold please. Okay, now as you know, some of you may know, I do love Tarte Cosmetics products, their makeup and their skincare products. The face wash that I use and I've been using for psh, a few months now, I feel like, is the Tarte C Deep Dive. It looks like this. Maybe the light is too much. Anyway, this is what the bottle looks like. It has algae and it has vitamin C. The consistency of it, how it feels, is actually kind of like the sea moss. And what I do, for those of you who know, listen, we're going to take it up a notch. Inner Fillet, F-I-L-L-E-T-T. I was like, is this inner fillet or fillet? Anyway, aloe vera juice. I poured some of this into my Tarte Deep Dive face wash, okay? So I have that in here already. I just wanted to show you. This I also put all over my skin. I use it in my hair and I put it on my body. This with the sea moss, double, listen, it is not a game. So yes, like I said, I've been on that natural tip. I pour some aloe juice into here. I'm going to wet my face and then wash my face with this. One moment. Okay, y'all, I have rinsed off the Tarte Deep Dive. What do I keep? The Tarte C Deep Dive, okay? And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and dry it, dry it off. so rejuvenated I feel so rejuvenated okay now that we have done that my skin is dry again disregard the sea moss that I have all over my shoulders and stuff still trying to take care of some problem areas I had told you for those of you who watched me before or watched that video after the microdermabrasion I went to Jackie Aina's esthetician Fenia Abramian now, like I said, I've been more on the natural products that don't, I try, with the exception of the Deep Dive has some other things in it, but again, Tarte has pretty decent products in my opinion. I'm trying to stick with things that just don't have a bunch of chemicals and a lot of stuff. So, from Fenia, I purchased this Glow Elixir, okay? The only ingredients in this Glow Elixir are apricot, vitamins B and E, and grapefruit. 
The oil serum can be mixed into your moisturizer, lip balm, foundation, eyeliner, and more. Can also be applied directly on the face. Okay, external use only. I put it directly on my face. So, after doing all of that, I take the glow elixir. A little bit goes a long way. Use it sparingly. Using my ring finger for under my eyes, rubbing into the forehead, rubbing into my skin. It's a little bit more actually. I'm supposed to spray the toner on before doing this, but that's okay. My, the toner that I use is simply rose water, which you probably have also seen before if you watch my videos. So hold a moment while I go and grab that, okay? I should have done this step before putting on the glow elixir, the serum, but that's okay because I've really been taking care of my skin. I don't think this one little misstep, whatever you want to call it, is going to do anything. This is Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water, Aromatherapy Mist Body Splash from European Roses, eight ounces. I actually just have a little bit left because I use this literally in my hair and everything as well. This does not have glycerin, however, I'm about to get the one with glycerin because I want that one for my hair. For my face, I prefer personally not to have glycerin. Uh, yes, and free of alcohol, parabens, sulfates, and I'm not gonna, I don't wanna mess that up. Phthalates. My bad, y'all, I literally ran out of space, okay? But as I was saying, ooh, thought that was gonna drop. As I was saying, this doesn't have glycerin. I'm going to buy the one with glycerin for my hair. This I should have put on before the glow elixir, but that's okay. I'm just going to show y'all. I probably did the most with that. I'll probably be doing the most with this, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so that is what I do. I let this dry so and my card was full so I apologize <laughs> that's why it cut off like that but I let this dry and then I come back and finish the moisturization process it's, it's a lot but when I tell you all I'm not gonna lead you astray okay well maybe a couple times I've led you kind of astray but I'm not gonna lead you astray with this skincare thing like you see you see the progress like look at my old to new not the old old because my skin was on fleek fleek then but look from when it mash up up to now like where where from whence I came we're making progress okay so I'm gonna let this fully dry and I'm gonna come back and lastly, say I'm about to step out into this sunny California weather. I use my Tarte, Tarte Guard 30. I love the presentation, love the packaging. The only thing that I don't like about this is when you, excuse the messiness, I use this. When you pump it, it pumps out more than I would like. So yeah, but say I'm stepping out, then I put this all over my face. Well. I've been doing just the top part because I've been wearing my mask on the lower, so literally, and I've been putting the tretinoin cream and stuff up here, so literally, I put, and I only use tretinoin cream at night, 
but I put the sunscreen all over this area because that's what's exposed to the sun and then I have my mask. Another thing that's good, I'm like, cool. Nobody gotta see what's going on under here. Mask on, okay? Anyway, um, then I uh, go ahead and I've already taken out some. I bought a big old thing of shea butter. It was in a big plastic bag years ago and I still have it. I think it was like a three pound bag, whatever. So clearly that's lasted me years. And I just scooped out some again onto my little lid like I did before and showed y'all the sea moss. This is shea butter. So what I do because it is very thick, I uh, put some on my lips first of all. They were drier than a mug after all of this. Well, more, you know what I'm saying, moisturize. But after washing, 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 it kind of dried it out and, and I didn't have anything on my lips. See, they're not peeling nothing. Okay, I'll go ahead and I add some here. I mean, I usually just hit the T-zone area and then spread from there. And then just... And with what is remaining, that little bit, yeah, this, this I didn't even need all of this, but this could go on my body, right? Literally that stuff has lasted me forever. And that's it. A little teensy weensy bit of the shea butter. And like I said, if I'm stepping out, which I'm not right now, well, I'm stepping out, then I do the sunscreen, okay? And shea butter, just so you know, also acts like, uh, acts as a sunscreen. But because of the tretinoin cream that I use, I use the Tarte Guard to be extremely safe. Okay? And I like the Tarte Guard. I just hate that it pumps out so much. It does leave a bit of a white cast on your face. That's another thing. But most sunscreens do. But it's, I don't think it's anything that's too crazy. And furthermore, I don't care as long as my skin is on point. So that is the end of my skincare routine i hope you enjoyed it i do plan on coming back with more skincare tips and hacks and walking you through my routine with the tretinoin and all of that if you definitely like to see my tretinoin night time routine comment below let me know i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was beneficial to you and i uh, thank you all for rocking with me if you found this information beneficial if you like what you see I ask that you please like, comment, share, subscribe, and press that bell for notifications, all right? But I truly do appreciate y'all. Enjoy your day. Be safe out there. And I'll holla. This sea moss, though. Mm -hmm.